of smelly old grease. Looks like there's a number of well-dressed men getting their nails done. Yoo-hoo! Hello in there! How do you like the nail painting service? Mona, don't bother them. Those politicians have a lot of wheeling and dealing to do in there. Oh, I don't want to disturb those men. Especially the plump one with the sash that says Burgermeister on it. Yep. That's Burgermeister Vinton. Wilhelm Vinton of Gothford Falls. He's always getting his <clears throat> nails done. According to the papers, he likes the painted ladies a little too much. It says A113 in gold lettering, indicating the street address. And it has a strange logo above it of a cat in a house. What does a cat in a house mean, Fudzik? Well, when a man loves a woman a great deal, but that woman is pretty conservative and always busy, and the man is always away at a convention, and, uh, he... It's just a funny picture. Hi, kitty cat. What's your name? I bet it's cash only, no refunds. Oh, those gold letters are pretty. I don't want to steal them from the poor working girls of the salon. Working girls is right. What? It's a sign for that nail salon. It says the Nudge Nudge Wink Wink Nail Salon, in quotes. I'm not sure that's a real nail salon, Mona. Why do you say that? You tell me! Beside the fact that their building is located in the Red Light District, it's covered with a bird and bees. How do you know this is a Red Light District? My first clue was that big red light hanging over their door. Hello, salon sign. You seem to have been altered quite a bit. I mean, you were established in 1870, then again in 1872, 1876, and 1880. Those were the same years the Draxylvania Women's Liberation and Suffragette League had their convention here. Coincidence? I think not. Suffragette? Yeah, a woman who wants equal rights with men to vote. Women voting? Oh, that is the silliest thing I have ever heard. But now that I think about it... Hmm. Let's move on. Hmm. Not sure I need a nail salon sign, but I'll keep it in mind. Really? No. It's the door to the salon. Oh, and it has a pink heart on it. Kind of odd for a nail salon. It would be if it were just a nail salon. What do you mean? Birds, bees, hearts, the red light. Any of this getting through? Nuh uh. Hello in there? May we come in? Sorry, sister. We're closed for a private party. Oh! A slumber party? Where all the girls stay up late putting on makeup and doing their nails? The girls are doing something in there, alright. But not necessarily nails. Sorry, honey. The shop is closed for, uh, redecorating. But our, um, <clears throat> street service is open all night. You do nails out in the cold night? Nails? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, the cold air helps them dry faster. It is a gangplank for this houseboat. Hello, Mr. Gangplank. You look very gangplanky. Though I'm sure it is as cute as can be down there, I don't want to trespass. It's a boat. Hi, boat. What is your name? Let me look. I think it's the SS Keep Off Private Property. Too heavy. But we could have used one of those back at the castle. Maybe. But that boat doesn't have the silk-lined interior that your coffin did. Then again, that boat probably doesn't smell like death. Life is all about trade-offs. It says this is the way. 
has Lakeworth Dam and Waterworks through Dreadwork Gorge and Gothford Falls, then down to Port Vada. That's where Madame Strugoy says his ship was waiting for us. Sign, give me one of you. No, I don't think so. It's the docks area of Vlad's Landing. Yep. People paddle their boats here from far and wide. From way up river and all over Lake Ward to come here to trade their wares. What do they trade? Boats. Hello over there at the scummy, villainous, crime-witten docks. How are you all this evening? Actually, the Vlad's Landing Tourist Bureau recently published some updated figures. Apparently, the dock area is 27% less scummy and villainous than last year. Silly, I don't think I can pick up a dock. It's a woman standing outside of the nail salon. That woman is definitely a working girl, Mona. I think she's in the process of doing a little self-promotion. Do you think she would be willing to speak with us? She might have some good information about the area. I'm sure she'd be happy to share her time with us. And her hourly rates are probably reasonable. Hi there, miss. What can I do you for? Sorry to disturb you, but may I speak with you for a moment? That depends. Are you in any way associated, affiliated, related to, or working with any member of a local, regional, or national law enforcement organization, particularly those identified as being tasked with reducing or eliminating the act of human fulfillment? Human fulfillment? She means no, she is not. Well then, hello there, honey. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. How can I help you? Do you work for the salon? Work has such a negative connotation. I like to think that I live my life in the pursuit of pleasure. Mine and others. My relationship with the salon allows me to pursue these personal interests while simultaneously providing me with an ongoing source of income. <laughs> right now I'm standing lookout for a private nail salon event going on inside. What sort of work do you do? I like to think of myself as a small event planner. Or possibly a personal entertainer. In terms of the specific services I offer, that generally depends on how much my client is willing to spend. Was there something particular you had in mind? Uh-oh, Mona. That constable over there is eyeing you pretty closely. You'd better be careful, or you might get picked up for solicitation. Solicitation? Solicitation of what? Mona, you seem to be having some difficulty grasping the situation. This lovely lady here... Why, thank you! <laughs> and I might say you are by far the most attractive bat I have ever encountered. You're too kind. Anyway, Mona, to put it bluntly, this woman is, uh, well, she does stuff to make people happy. Especially penicillin manufacturers. Oh, I, I guess I understand. I think. Forgive me, I don't have much experience in these, um, areas. There's nothing to forgive, darling. You know, you are quite attractive. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're doing right now, but would you ever consider a career change? We offer flexible hours and an excellent benefits package. We would have to put a little more foundation on those cheeks, though I'm afraid you're looking rather pale. Sure, sounds great. I love doing nails. Where do I sign up? Whoa, Mona, trust me, this isn't the right nail salon for you. Besides, don't you want to go to Paris and sing opera? You're right, I do. But she made her life seem so glamorous and fulfilling. Do I get two weeks of vacation and ten days of sick leave? You're gonna need a lot more sick leave. What are you talking about? I'm not judging you. I'm just saying we should be discreet. What is so illegal about talking to someone? There's nothing wrong with pleasant social intercourse. standing out here in the cold. You can thank Constable Blood Crane, the cop standing over there. 
He's not a big fan of the nail salon services. So I have to stand watch to warn the private party we are having inside in case Constable Crane decides to have a raid. Believe me, I'd rather be inside nice and warm. What private party? We'll keep this on the down low, but Burgermeister Willem Vinton and a bunch of his cronies from the next village over are having some <clears throat> political discussions in there. Very delicate ones, and they don't want to be disturbed. Disturbed by whom? The Vice Squad. Vlad's Landing Vice, which Constable Blood Crane over there is the head of, doesn't like my business practices and is constantly trying to shut me down. But we are so good at nails <laughs> that the politicians keep allowing us to reopen. Why would Constable Crane not like a nail salon? Oh, I have a bunch of theories on that. And none of them good. My leading theory is that he has a serious inferiority complex because his older brother Lou is such a big town hero and overshadows Bud at every turn. So to compensate for his... <laughs> shortcomings. He's way too wound up. He really needs to get, well, get, uh, relieved of his duties for harassing a perfectly harmless nail salon? Yes, exactly. If he'd go away or someone got rid of him, that would be a relief. Believe you me. Can we go inside your nail salon? Sorry, honey. No can do. Why not? The salon has been reserved by a private party. I'm doing double duty as doorman and lookout. So unless you are part of the Gothford Falls City Council, I can't let you in. May I ask your name? Certainly. Today, my name is Iris Vivienne. What do you mean by today? Your name changes? Of course. My name changes with my mood. I'm in an iris mood today, but tomorrow I may be somebody else. My customers enjoy a certain level of variety. Might I ask your name? Mona! My name is Mona. Well, what a coinky dink I use the name Mona all the time. It is a perfect name for a woman in my profession. Ha! <laughs> and what is so gosh darn funny? Nothing. That's a lovely dress. May I ask where you purchased it? But of course. I bought this dress at Madame Stoker's dress shop. She does excellent work. Although sometimes it's difficult to get an appointment with her due to Madame Stoker leading a fairly hectic life. Why is Madame Stoker's life so hectic? She has two young children who keep her very busy. And a very demanding husband who is a bit of a gluttonous louse. Although, he is an excellent customer. That's all the questions I have for now. Very well. Uh, if you happen to see a lonely, wealthy man wandering about, please do send him my way. It's a boathouse! It looks like there's some kind of gathering going on inside. Yeah! That's some catchy music they have going on in there. Very progressive. Perhaps later. It's the event board for the stadium and it reads, Tonight, the annual charity match between the Vlad's Landing All Blacks and the Gothford Falls United. All proceeds from tonight's game will benefit the Draxylvanian Constables Fund. I've heard about the DCF. They pay really, really well. Apparently, their life expectancy has dwindled to a relatively short period. Why so short? And to make up for the high mortality rate due to some disease that they've identified as spontaneous anemia. Oh my! Shroudy and I aren't the only ones around here who occasionally have to, um, borrow. Um, fluids from law enforcement officials. I don't talk to inanimate objects. What? You do that all the time. It's kind of weird. I don't want to vandalize these poor constables' fundraising game. I don't dislike them, 
They just seem to get in my way a lot. <laughs> 